Price subsidy is a trap set for Tinubu by the Northern leaders, and he fell into it. Mwachuko Alekwe. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always stopping by. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. According to the report from The Sun, the former West Africa coordinator of the Defunct National Support for Jonathan Sambo Presidency, Mr. Nwajiku Alikwe, argued that the abrupt and unlictory removal of fuel subsidies marks the onset of an economic crisis in Nigeria. He claimed that this decision was a deliberate poorly by Northern leaders to destabilize President Tinubu's administration as the former president, Muhammad Buhari, led strategically removed fuel subsidy from the 2023 budget that took effect in June, just after he left office on May 29. Suggested that the Northern leaders were aware of the Dangote refineries, uh, refineries uh, delayed operations which would exhibit the economic hardships faced by the country. He criticized the lack of contingency planning and measures to mitigate the adverse effects of the subsidy removal, upsetting that this, is, this failure has led to widespread problem. He expressed doubt about the government's ability to enact rapid and visible solutions particularly in addressing the food crisis, unless the Dangote refinery becomes operational in the near future. He said, the sudden and non-consulted remo removal of forest subsidy is the beginning of Nigerian's economy crisis. I told you that this was a trap that was set by Tinubu, by the Northern leaders, and he fell into it, yes. It is a plot by the Northerners, by the North, okay, to destabilize this government. That is the reason the former president, Buhari, removed fuel subsidy from the 2023 budget that took effect from June while he left office on May 29. They knew that Dangote refinery will not start operation in August 2023, and that is the cause of economic hardship in the country. The past administration had romanced with fuel subsidy removal, but did not remove it. President Tinubu, at his inauguration, removed fuel subsidy without provisions for measures to cushion its effects or any plan put in place to cushion the effect of subsidy that is why these problems erupted. And as it stands now, it is very hard for the government to do a drastic transformation that will bring visible solutions, especially in the area of food crisis, except Dangote Refinery begins operation soon. So guys, you've all heard it now. Wanchiko said, not an as planned this, this first subsidy. And uh, President Bola Tinubu fell into their plans. And their plan is just to destabilize his government. So that is why President um, Muhammad Buhari removed first subsidy in 2023, you know, July budget. So that any government that enters, and you know, they know that they will work President Bola Tinubu in there. Any government that assume office will suffer the brunt. And that is what is happening right now. Nigerians are now the people who are suffering. You understand? President Bola Tinubu would have used wisdom more, whether we like it or not. He's a spokesperson, he should understand what is going on. Okay? He should understand what is going on. That the situation on the ground is not friendly at all no matter how they see it. So this is not the time to start attacking opposition parties. They are the one doing this, they are the one doing that. 
Nigerians are angry and they are hungry. That is the truth. Nigerians are hungry. So there is no how you will paint the matter. You remove fuel subsidy without any plan on ground. And this is what is hitting Nigeria right now. And with what is said, you know, Northerners always want to be on top. You get, they always want to be there. So all this is for them to come back. But why did President Tinubu not use, you know, a, a wisdom for this? Now everybody is blaming him. But he was pushed to it. You understand? He was pushed to it and he fell into their trap. With what is going on, this government cannot save Nigeria. It cannot even solve the problem of ground right now. Currently, this issue of food scarcity, this issue of poverty, hunger, eh? It has overwhelmed them. So not be that one when Onanoga they talk. Oh, not that one he's talking. The battle is real. You understand? So they, they have to, you know, see what they will do concerning this. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I beg, drop your comments below the comment section. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you.